Now to Canberra. Federal Parliament has sent the government a reminder that it's politically isolated on asylum seeker deal with Malaysia. Anti-Labour alliances and the House of Representatives have passed a motion condemning the plan, but the government has shrugged it off and insists it's well on the way to clinching its people swap deal with Malaysia. The Greens and the Coalition don't agree on much when it comes to asylum seekers, but they agree that the government's Malaysia deal isn't the solution. Ring the bells for the one, coalition has one, formed an uncommon one, alliance one. with the Greens, backing a motion to condemn the swap. Crossbench MPs Andrew Wilkie, Bob Catter and Tony Crook were also on board. The result of the division is eyes 70, no 68. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. The Senate has already passed the same motion. You'll have to check your history books, but it has been some time, I suspect, that both houses of Parliament have condemned a government policy in this way. It's meant to be a shot across the government's bows. It's my fervent hope that the government listens to what the Parliament has said uh, and uh, goes back to the drawing board. It won't. The motion proves the unpredictability of a hung parliament, but it has no practical impact on the government. It's pressing ahead to lock down a deal with Malaysia, a process the minister says is well advanced. Well, look, the Greens and the Liberal Party have very different positions on this. Of course, they've, they've joined into a coalition of convenience this morning, and that was well known. It was always going to be the case. But if you ask the Greens and the Liberals to agree on a way forward, or the Parliament to agree on a way forward, of course they wouldn't be able to. In the minority, but still in control. Melissa Clark, ABC News, Canberra.